You want to use your Nouveau Drops for more than just embellishments? I got you. Hi everybody, my name is Brennan and welcome to Brennan's Crafty Corner. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you five, well, that's ten, five different techniques you can use with Nouveau Drops to make backgrounds. These are incredible. You can get so much out of your Nouveau Drops. They are so much more than just tiny little embellishments. I do love them for that, but I always like to get more out of products you already have. Also, just a quick little note, any link you see below that's linked to Tonic is technically an affiliate link. However, it's more to track anything if people click it and stuff. I do not make a commission off of that because minor, we have not found a workaround for that yet. But just if you want to shop any of the tonic stuff, link the links below. I don't make any money off from it, but it's to track stuff. So yeah, <laughs> let's get into the video. So for this technique, I'm going to be using two pieces of paper and it's going to make two backgrounds. I'm going to be using this purple Nouveau drop and this blue. I can't see the names during the voiceover, but you all, you all will be able to. So what I'm going to do is just make little dots all over the paper. Just do dots like normal, but it's not going to look like dots when it's done. Well, it'll still be circular dots, but not like this. So now I did the purple first, and now I'm going to go in with the blue. Just cover a lot of area on the paper. And then once we're done adding all those little dots, what we're going to do is take the other piece of paper and just put it on top and go press. We're going to press it, press it, press it, and then we're going to peel. And we're going to get two really cool polka dot kind of backgrounds. This one is your super fast technique. I'm going to be using a green Nouveau drop this time. What I'm going to do is just put basically a blob on the paper. It's not much um, of the drops. And then I'm just going to take my figure and blend it out. You could use a paintbrush, but the point of crafting is to get messy and have fun. So use your finger. Live a little. <laughs> and here's that background. Now for this technique, we're going to be using our gel plates or presses, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go back to the purple and blue Nouveau drops, and I'm going to do two lines, one of purple, one of blue. These are slightly thick. They're not that thick. There's not too much of the drops on here. So after I put that on my gel press, I'm going to take out my brayer, and I'm just going to roll that over the press to blend it. Then I'm going to take a piece of paper and just um, take, press it onto the gel press to get the print. And then I'm going to peel it back, and then we have a wonderful, pretty muted press. I really like this. It's really soft. Now we're going to take the brayer and get the drops that are on there off, and just rub that onto a separate piece of paper, and bam, we have another one. This one's even more soft and dull and muted. It's almost gray at this point, but I still really like it. Now we're going to do a little faux ink smushing. All you need is some sort of piece of acetate. I'm using this um, packaging for a card, and I'm just going to put a little bit of that blue Nouveau drop on and spray it with some water from my Distress Sprayer. And then, once again, because I like to get messy, I'm going to take my finger and just blend the water and the Nouveau drop together. You could definitely use a paintbrush, but once again, get messy. You only live once. So I'm going to fully blend that out, and then I'm just going to place my piece of paper in it. And I'm going to just keep placing it in till I get a background that I like. And guess what? There's still plenty of liquid there for a second um, background. For the final and my most favorite technique, we're going to be using some Nouveau chalk paste, and I'm just going to scoop a little bit out of that of out of the container onto my glass mat, my Tonic Studio glass mat, and then I'm going to take some Nouveau stone drops in the color Lady Liberty, I remember this, and put a nice little drop in the center of it. And then I'm going to take my little spatula and just mix that together until it becomes green. This is going to change both the texture and the color of the paste. I'm going to cut, make a cut in the video, but I'm going to clean it all up. See? Cleaned up. And then I'm just going to put that onto my cardstock. I really like mixed media looks, and this is so great for that. It gives you that stone, stone texture still, but it still acts like a paste, so you don't have to use too much of the Nouveau Drops. Nouveau Drops can do so much. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, pow, 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 and also hit the subscribe button if you, haven't, if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone, and happy crafting.